Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob. Gee, it's so nice to be back on another video, guys. We've had a hectic week at work, so <laughs> I've been just running around like crazy. I haven't had time for anything. Although uh, at night times I've spent some time on, on Mars, um, the mission, uh, the version 2 of the map. And uh, I thought I'll just fill you guys in on all the exciting stuff that's coming for version 2. And uh, hopefully... Um, you are excited as I am uh, when you see what, what, what I've got planned for version 2. And just a quick update on what's been happening, you know. So yeah, very nice. So welcome to the channel. If this is your first time around, a warm welcome to you. Do uh, consider subscribing and liking and doing all the nice things. <laughs> always, a, always a good thing and I appreciate that very much. Great guys, so let's just jump in there into the map. Have a look at some of the changes that I've already added. Um, added to the existing map um, I'm gonna do do a whole rework of all the signs because yeah, I think this science is uh, sort of football field type of thing you know so didn't really enjoy that um, then as you can see in the back there very exciting we're getting a train uh, onto Mars and it's not just a normal train uh, I'm looking at a futuristic like uh, <laughs> one of those fancy trains that fly in the air you know and that by uh, by the way, that thing that you see there is a train track that is like a light tube that the train runs on. It's like one of these, uh, uh, how can you say, science fiction trains. Um, if I can quickly, I'm also going to do a new PDA, guys, because that PDA is old. Uh, I'm going to quickly just tap out of here into my folder here and then have a look at the train. This is what I'm, what I'm aiming for, is this type of design with the, with the light track and then obviously uh, the train I don't know if we're going to have to uh, I don't know if it's, if it's going to be able to have the trucks at the bottom but I'm going to try my best and see uh, how it works out um, I've done the I've done the rail already and and the pil pylons as you could see and then um, this is not the real design although I would like to have it something like sort of like this but the, the design that I'm aiming for more in the shape of of this type of thing you know with the with the train um that's more like a cartoon thing if you look at this one here there's it it's almost sort of this one from the jedi fallen order you know <laughs> type of train but i want to try my best and see if i can uh, get something close to that you know um it, it probably won't look exactly like that but it would be lucky if i can get it like that you know um, but I'm going to try my best, guys. I'm not. I'm not the Blender Guru. Um, the Blender Guru is a guy that I've learned a lot from in Blender. But <laughs> my word, I still. I'm still like a noob when it comes to Blender. But I'm trying my best. All this pylons uh, I've done with uh, um, with Blender and also this tube and everything. It was quite a job, I must say. Um, yeah. It. W uh, let me just quit quickly get my flight tools. Uh, up here so we can travel a bit faster because this slowly walking around is just not for me you know anyway so that's basically what is what 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 the ideas of the train why the train uh, well the train basically is going to stop at stations uh, I think there's going to be two or three on the side of the map uh, if I can go up a little bit higher and it ends up on that side and it goes out to a new um, uh, what do you call it rocket our big rocket from spacex is there in the corner and um, a friend of mine superfly which i'll uh, um, sort of introduce you to this to his contribution to version two of the map he has been awesome really awesome 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 made made some awesome stuff for us for version two and then um, i'm at the train currently so let me talk finish talking about the train so what the train will do is you'll take all your goodies that you're going to sell to Earth, put it on the train, and export it out to Earth, to the rocket. That's basically the idea of the whole thing. And this tunnel that's in there goes up to the rocket, and then it's in there, you know. So, Or I can get the train coming this way around, which probably makes more sense to go this way around. So from that side, so it will travel from there, all the way through up to the rocket, and then everyone's happy, you know. So the other thing we're also going to do... Um, we're going to do mining on version 2 of the map. I'm going to try my best. Uh, you're looking at about four weeks. I'm about four weeks out of releasing version 2 to giants. In other words, putting it in for testing. <laughs> and then with their testing, normally... Um, what is this? 
stuff here. I've never noticed that. I'm going to have to have a look at that. I haven't seen that before. Uh, anyways, um, with the testing, could be another two, three weeks. So you're looking at maybe six, seven weeks to the release of version two. Right, so that's the train coming up. New signs coming up. That's also a given. Now in version two, you're not going to be able to... We, we, we've upgraded the, the mission a little bit. <laughs> so you're not going to have diesel for free anymore. You're going to have to make your own diesel by planting canola, um, sunflower seed oil, and um, what's the other thing? Um, olive oil. So without those, you will not have diesel in the map. <laughs> and this is our diesel uh, sort of depot. New signs, like I said, fuel storage. So you this is not to buy anymore. You can only store it here. And then here's going to be a diesel plant right here by this factory here. Is our diesel plant. There it is. Um, I'm, still, I'm still trying to figure out how to get this thing to work. Uh, I haven't had time yet. I've just put it in. And I've tested it. It is producing diesel, but I'm just not getting diesel out of it. It says it's got diesel inside, but I just haven't had time to play with it. Anyway, so there's going to be diesel production. So you won't have uh, diesel anymore in your vehicles for free. Electricity, obviously, there is three charges on the map. So you will have charges to charge your electric stuff, but there's not a lot of electric stuff going. Although there is some exciting things happening. You know, this Mars map that I've built... I've also built Moonbase Alpha for uh, FS19, which in future I'm just definitely going to bring over to FS22. Uh, I, I'm not sure if it will make FS22 because if Giants has got a new version of, of uh, um, Farming Simulator, then obviously I'll rather put it in there. But uh, that's also a future upcoming map for, for Farming Simulator. Although it's already there in FS19, you can play it. It's Moonbase Alpha. That's the name of it. If you want to download it from my website, you're welcome to. All for free. It's not on ModHub. It's on uh, my website. So grab it there if you want. Good, guys. So what other exciting stuff? Um, these buildings here. I'm, I'm going to see if I have time to rework them. Although this one, that one, and that one I can live with. But this bakery, I, I don't really... Uh, it doesn't look Martian enough for me, you know. I can still get away with these. Although this one sort of reminds me of a house, you know. So that <laughs> still needs to go. Um, but these, I can, I can live with those. There is here... Um, is another factory I'm busy with. Um, checking out. See what I can do here. Um, and then obviously a new command center, totally new command center, new collectibles. I've done um, away with the with the normal collectibles. Let's see if I can quickly find one. I wonder if they're in the map already. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So I'm giving away one one location, guys. Make note of it. <laughs> I've put these nice little cartridges, you know, because they're sort of more more in theme of of Mars, you know, little cartridges than the cheese. So I think we've had enough cheese for now. For all the Frenchmen, <laughs> uh, so let's get get stuck onto some cartridges for the next map. Great, and then um, the command center is looking good, not too bad. Although this is just a prop, it's not an uh, um, actual building. It's just a thing that looks nice here on the map. Then the exciting part. Uh, uh, forgive me for having vehicles uh, staggered all over the map. I'm just gonna quickly put all this flight mode so we can uh, actually just join the map here down here. Um, this is one of Superfly's stuff, very, very, um, quite a good modder out there, and he's built this whole thing for Mars for me. Um, this is a bunker, it's our house, it's also a place where you can store some stuff, and it's got this super handy dandy type of a vehicle storage and service center, so you can service your vehicles in here. Um, let me just get this tractor out of the way. Um, you can clearly see I haven't updated the, the vehicle positioning yet. Um, that's why this tractor is like stuck here, you know. Let's just get it out of the way. This tractor and trailer. So let's just park it here. And I'll show you I'll show you how this operates. If you look at this um, telehandler. Oh uh, sorry, I must actually press Q to to uh, get this thing going. Here we go. All right, so how this thing operates. This is a uh, vehicle lift. It's got two uh, vehicle bays, and I'll show you now a little bit later on. But this is our, our workshop. 
But let's just run in here. Just check out this guy, uh, Superfly. Uh, the stuff he's made is rock awesome, you know. Check here. So that's our, our entrance door into our bunker. This is your house where we sleep. So very, very nice. Um, got all these little lights and glowing stuff and working parts of this thing. So you just left click your mouse and it takes you into your living quarters where, <laughs> where you can sleep. You can, you've got a wardrobe here where you can get dressed. Here it is. And then you can sleep here on the couch. And it's got a nice little pinball machine. Um, believe it or not, this is his job, what he does for a real living. He, he works on pinball machines. Uh, or what do you call these things? Arcade machines. <laughs> but I mean, look at this. This guy built this for, for, for our map. Very awesome. And then here is the vehicle storage bay. So you've got one and two. So you've got two um, sort of things for vehicles that you can uh, get going I just want to run down here is the workshop so you will what you will do is you'll park the vehicle on top bring it down to the lower level and then you can service it here at the service center here if you press R you see there's the workshop so but I mean this is like really really fancy it's got lights and everything working <laughs> for the building I mean it is so awesome Ch check it out lights going I love it. This guy is like, he's amazing, you know. Um, he's helped me a bit with, uh, um, with uh, um, what do you call it, blender as well, with some stuff, the light tube that I built, and, and with um, the pylons. He helped me with the pylons. I had problems with the pylons for that light tube, and he helped me out. It's uh, really, really nice of him to sort out, you know. Anyway, so what you will do is you'll stand here, and when you bring up your little menu with F1, it will tell you, garage floor one down so what you'll do is you press there and it will bring the gar oh, I think I left it up <laughs> that's what happened um, in, in my tests I left it up you know I never put it down so yeah it's just going down now however it wasn't in the air when we obviously when we started the game you know so um, probably always make sure now the reason for these garages underground is on Mars apparently the, the temperatures at night goes down to minus 40 minus 50 degrees uh, not Fahrenheit Celsius guys I don't know why people keep measuring stuff in Fahrenheit just measure in Celsius because everyone works with Celsius <laughs> anyways so here we are so what you'll do is you'll store your vehicles underground here so garage two floor up so if you press now um, your, your mouse button it will bring your vehicle uh, storage thing up to the top and you can drive your vehicle on it and put it downstairs you know so that's basically the idea and you've got two vehicle bays on each each of these elevators you know so there's the the vehicle two coming or vehicle two is on top and then vehicle one is at the bottom so now if you if you put a vehicle in there and you put it down again it will um, obviously go down so if I now go here you see cash for two down and it will close up and put the vehicle underground anyway enough said of that then here of all over the map I've removed these other garages that was here does it look like these things are in the air no they're not it's just a, it's just a mirage <laughs> so there is it's like I think there's four here and then where the old vehicle um, thing thingamabob was where was that um, it was here yeah we've got some um, some nice storages here as well I'm going to show you the other updates as well just now uh, am I going the right way here we go sorry here it is um, so here's our other vehicle storages Superfly also made these that's already on mod hub uh, these are mods that you can now download it's the lizard storage racks for your headers so very very nice and I've left the headers outside I don't think the 40 degrees will probably bother them as I believe in in um, on Welker farms it gets to minus 40 easily in the winter you know so <laughs> I'm sure I'm not too sure how, how cold it really gets on Mars but I'm just guessing it gets very cold there I've, I've if I recall correctly on some Mars movies, you know, you get these ideas of it's very cold there at night. But anyway, uh, you know, I, I mean, my favorite movie, The Martian, I'm sure you all, that's actually what inspired the map is like The Martian, you know. <laughs> that's why I built the farming on Mars, you know. Anyway, so I've updated the map with some rocks and stuff all over um, in the center. I haven't done the outsides. Um, it's a lot of work and I don't know how much... Um, um, 
these rocks take in the sense of processing power and all those stuff so I'm scared to make too many rocks you know <laughs> but anyway so mining is coming to the map for version 2 um, we're going to put in some ore um, that you can export to earth at a lot of money um, that is also going to be some gems that Superfly has built his gem pack we're gonna, he's given us permission to use that in Mars so I'm going to try and add his gem pack so we're going to be mining for some gems and stuff and some ore I'm not too sure what ore yet but we'll have a look um, uh, set that up and see that we can have that for version 2 great and then as you can see uh, the environment I've done a rework of the total environment there's no more um, no more fancy weather stuff um, no more snowing we don't have snow anymore in on Mars or in the dome actually because in the dome it will be strange if it snows I can remember that there's, there, there is a chance for some snow but just like a, a quick snow in 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 the late winter early spring you know just to sort of have have a reason for it to be very cold on the map you know <laughs> but uh, but all the normal weather phenomena are gone all the cloudy rainy days there's no cloud stormy weather uh, you'll see that um, I've reworked the whole weather for it so it's a little bit more realistic I couldn't take everything out of the game you know because uh, um, there is a little bit of rain um, the theory is we've got the biodome here it's like a natural rainforest so um, as things heat up in the day the the moisture from the ground will go up into the dome and it will drip down you know it's like in a rainforest when it's hot during the day you actually get rain under the trees you know so that type of think my thinking so there is some rain in the dome or, or, or although i couldn't simulate the rain in the dome so i've just used the normal weather phenomena of the game to to sort of run that you know it would have been nice to have the <laughs> to drip from the dome but <laughs> i don't know if that's possible in the game you know um anyway my i, I think my my experience as a modder is way too little for that type of things you know anyway so we have a new rocket coming superfly is building us a new rocket uh, which will also be in version 2 um, it's a little bit of an upgrade of this one just looking gonna look better it's just a prop it's just gonna be there standing there looking nice you know um, the other thing that I've done oh yes um, if we can go back to flight tools quick quickly quickly up oh, I missed flight state to be on I've reworked this building here on top by the airfield as you can see there's no tube thing going up here anymore this building has now um, just got a little bit of a, a different look so I can quickly run this away and it's like a this is our our flight center where where the the people or the visitors come down from from the space dock and they fly and land here and then they take off again so this is our sort of our airport for Mars you know and in there it's just a little lounge and everything although you can't go in there it's just a prop again wants just to look nice great and then the exciting stuff you know this map that I've built has spurred on a lot of modders um, there's a few guys out there building mods and one of them, uh, you guys should know him, is Lambo Mods. He's got his, uh, a, a nice big YouTube channel with, and he's into vehicle modding. So I'm going to quickly show you what he's been building for the for for the map um, and for this type of environment. It's going to be mods that you can download from Mod Hub. So it's all his his work and stuff he's building. Some mining equipment, which I think it looks very awesome. So I'm just going to go through them uh, just to show you what he's been working on. I mean, this is, this is like really nice, you know, so very awesome. Um, there's like a mining tipper. We've seen that one. Just some stuff he's been working on. There's a power generation plant that he's built and a water water plant um, that he's built for Mars. So that is going to be two mods. I'm waiting for him to um, sort of send me the, the uh, permissions and stuff to build it into the map so that we don't have to add it afterwards you know i want to try and make it part of the map so we'll see what he says you know it depends on what he's uh, what he's willing and able to to allow us to do you know so there it is a little a little uh solar powered little rover thing very nice and then he's also he's got a lot of stuff guys he's built some nice um sort of domey geodesic domey stuff like you see in the martian you know that type of stuff here's a quick quick idea of of, of all the 
type of buildings and stuff that he's built, which actually I think looks super amazing. So this is all going to be stuff that you can actually buy in the shop. Um, that's his work, you know. I don't want to take his work away. So it will be available for you to buy and place in Moss and um, maybe take away some of the productions and stuff and put your own buildings down, you know, that type of stuff. So, uh, um, yeah, uh, I might be, I might be uh, a sort of releasing a Moss version that is stripped down from all the normal buildings so you can buy and play these buildings you know that type of thing we'll see what we can do once his stuff is released i can build it into mods myself you know as as uh, uh dependent mods and then obviously when you load the map it will all be there available in place so that's also that's actually the way I'm, I'm trying to aim for you know to to have it um sort of in the map ready for you to use and uh, get rid of all the stuff so there's like like I say, there's a, a lot of exciting things coming for version 2. <laughs> soon and very soon, guys. Well, not so soon, but it's it's on the horizon, you know. It's stuff happening. My big job now is to finish the train. I'm, I'm working hard on the train. I don't want to spoil anything and show you what, where I am. But I'm busy with the, the actual loco. Um, I'm about... 20% into the loco <laughs> as I've really spent a lot of time figuring out this uh, rail and all this stuff and doing a lot of other changes on the map itself and there's still a lot to do um, stuff that needs to be updated and sort out you know um, what else oh yes these um, these little things that I've showed you here they are just storages they two level storages so you can put like um, if I show you here, I've actually got all your ba all your basic startup vehicles are already parked here for you. So if I now, ah, now I still want to save. If I now go to F12 and just switch off the flight mode, we can uh, obviously run in here. Let me start by switching up, I think, number 2, rack 2. So if you stand here and you press your left mouse button, it will bring rack 2 up for you. So as you can see here on the little um, yeah on this little map down at the bottom, the PDA, you can see that uh, we've got a lot of vehicles stored inside the buildings. You know, there is some weird uh, things. The first time you use the um, you use the rack, you see the vehicle when it goes down. It's got this funny thing that it sort of hangs in the air a little bit and then stops and then it hangs in the air. But the next time you use it, it's all gone. So I don't know if it's if it's some physics or something that's uh, um, that's not nice. But um, it's only the first time I've noticed. If I now wait for this to close, I, I don't know if I'm talking trash, but I think when I tested it, um, that's basically what it was doing. So let's just see it again. Just another um, sort of a, a push. You see, it's got a little bit of a, um, a sort of a stuck thing where it sort of hooks i don't know if the vehicle is too big and maybe it's collisions i think it's it's the collisions guys uh, if i'm correct yeah it's i think it's the collisions of the vehicles if we go to a smaller vehicle just for fun i think i've got the smaller stuff in here it should it should be uh less less bothersome yes there was a little bit of a dip there. You see it's much smoother on the smaller stuff. So I think it's just the collisions of the bigger vehicles. Um, and the bays are obviously a bit narrow. And um, some of the bigger vehicles maybe get stuck. But it's not the issue. It's going up and down fairly fine. No problems there. Great, man. So, um, gee, it's a mouthful, guys. A lot of stuff uh, is happening. And I'm excited to uh, release version two soon. Um, like I said, probably about I'm, I'm probably about six weeks out with version two myself, and then a few weeks for for um, giants for the testing. So hopefully all will go well and quick and smooth, you know. But anyway, guys, thank you so so much for watching. And this is Mars uh, version two coming up, or the mission to Mars version two. I might I might change some of the mission parameters or stuff, but uh, we will have a look. Um, hopefully, 
or can stay the same. I don't know. We'll, we'll just check. I've had some brilliant feedback of the guys playing the map. They love it. They enjoy it. So I'm not going to be too much bothered, but a lot of people enjoy the mission, um, playing the mission and trying to achieve it, you know. Although it's very achievable. 20 years is a long time in game, you know. It depends on how many days you select. <laughs> so you tip there for you. <laughs> if, you, if, you if you think 20 years are are too short just select more days per year and you've got a lot more time to finish the mission so it's not an unachievable goal it is very achievable but uh, still fun to play you know a lot of a lot of stuff a lot of fun oh and then up here by the rocket i also added two of these bays for parking vehicles so there's a lot of bays all over the place for you to park your vehicles in night time when it's so cold anyway guys thank you so so much for watching um and please remember to like and subscribe share my goodies i uh, really appreciate you guys awesome a big thank you to my patreons if you're not there yet um, do support me on patreon that's basically all i have is patreon um, i do have paypal you know but patreon is so much better just bless me there if you love my stuff i really appreciate you guys thank you so much guys i'll catch you on the next one take care